Hey everyone, Ryan here. Quick video for you today uh, about positioning and authority. And it spurred me to do this quick video because I just received this through my door. Now, uh, it's called The Coast. It is the essential guide to loving life in Bournemouth. And this is issue number one. And the reason why it caught my attention initially is because, well, it landed on my doormat alongside presumably tens of thousands of other homeowners in uh, our local area here in sunny Bournemouth. Uh, now, on the face of it, it looks just like another free newspaper which comes through the post. It's got articles on going out and what to do and what you should wear at festivals. It's even got a bit about motoring and travel too. However, upon closer inspection, uh, and moreover, when we get to the very, very large property section, I started realising that all the properties listed were listed by the same company, a company called Foxes, who incidentally I'd never ever heard of. Uh, but indeed, it turns out there's sales spotlights all written by their employees. It's got a property spotlight written by their property director. It's got a mortgage spotlight written by their mortgage people. Plus, it's got a spotlight on homes. And of course, it only has their properties in it. Now, why is this good? Well, it's good because this is really, really smart positioning from foxes. Because you see, most people, like I did when I first picked it up, are probably going to think this is a normal circular newspaper, an independent uh, newspaper, no less. It's got adverts in there as well, so they probably cover the cost of getting the thing produced. And then it works as a brilliant piece of advertising for them, because it's only there their properties which are in here. Additionally, all the columnists, or many of the columnists, are their employees. So this gives the perception that they are wonderfully authoritative within their marketplace. And of course, you know, it means that people are more likely to read this. Are you going to read this or are you going to read another one of those annoying leaflets of which we get bloody hundreds of the things through our doors seemingly every month? Uh, which actually get filed away in the recycling bin. This may actually hang around our house for a little while um, and of course then it is going to help raise the awareness of foxes who I've now heard of, who I had never heard of before and not only that but paint them in a very authoritative light too. Now, I'm not suggesting that you should go out and start making your own newspapers, because that would be quite crazy. But, why don't you have a little think about how you can get your name and your business placed in other uh, positions of authority, because you can run off the back of other people's perceived authority. Maybe you could get a spot on a local radio station, maybe you could get a local column in one of your local newspapers, all you've got to do is pick up the phone and reach out to some of these companies. And companies that put the normal free newspapers through the door, they've got a lot of pages to fill every single week. I would imagine they would be delighted to hear from you about how you can uh, have a column every week with maybe your top beauty tips or something. And then you will start to be seen by people as the girl who has got a beauty column in the local newspaper. And that is a much, much better positioning wise than it is than someone who doesn't have that same column. You will start to be perceived as an expert. People will take what you say and as gospel and look up to what you're saying and not only that I say but also means that you can get some association off the back of the publication you're in as well they might also share on their online or their social media and you don't know where that snowball might end and of course as we all know those people uh, who are perceived as the experts they can charge more they get more referrals they get a better clientele of client they don't have people asking for discounts and refunds and they get much much better reviews online food for thought isn't it <laughs>